Uh, my name is Jess Jones. I'm a restoration biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And I'm stationed in Blacksburg, Virginia at Virginia Tech University. And today we're on the Powell River. And what we're doing is stocking uh, about 5,500 uh, individuals of an endangered freshwater mussel called the oyster mussel. We're stocking um, about 5,500 individuals of an endangered freshwater mussel called the oyster mussel and about 1,000 individuals of the Cumberland comb shell. And these are two species that are native to the Powell River. Uh, and one of them uh, was probably extirpated, lost from the river about 20 years ago. We haven't seen the oyster mussel in the river for about uh, 20 years. And so we're putting these mussels back, trying to build the populations back up, and ultimately our goal is to build multiple populations up in this river and other rivers in the Upper Tennessee River watershed uh, to ultimately delist these species from the endangered species list. So they're endangered now, and what we're trying to do is create multiple populations and delist them. And as you can imagine, this is a, you know, this is a big effort to produce the mussels at a laboratory like Virginia Tech at the Freshwater Mollusk Conservation Center but also the other, all the partnerships that are involved. So uh, one of the key partnerships that we have down here in the Tennessee section of the Powell River is working with uh, Dr. Ron Caldwell and Aggie Vanderpool at Lincoln Memorial University. And their students have been invaluable as far as helping us out. Uh, Aggie students have mapped some of the habitat and the habitat locations for stocking the freshwater mussels in the river. And then uh, the research station, the Powell River Research Station that's located right in the river. Uh, some of our students have used that facility uh, to stay there and stay there for a couple of days to do their field work down here on the river. So those kind of partnerships are really important to the success of a project like this. So you know, ultimately we're trying to build these populations up to the point where they're self-sustaining. That's our ultimate goal is to create self-sustaining populations where we can walk away and we don't have to take care of them anymore. And we're hopeful in the near future that this can take place the next three, four, five years, we will get enough individual stocked and the water quality is good, the habitat quality is good, that ultimately these populations will just take off and take care of themselves.